Welcome back to News Talk. The next few weeks stand to be uncharacteristically busy for Congress. Republicans in the House have a series of leadership vacancies to fill, and outgoing House Speaker John Boehner has pledged to clear the barn for his successor before he departs D.C. Congressman Chris Van Hollen joins us now, a Democrat from Maryland's 8th District. He's with us from the Cannon House office building. Uh, he appears as part of News Channel 8's ongoing Connect to Congress series. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you for your time. Bruce, it's great to be with you. I'd like to begin by talking about an issue where you have teamed up with a colleague. Uh, many folks watching us now may have seen part of uh, the hearings or part of the, some of the coverage of the hearings that your colleagues had on the so-called Planned Parenthood videos. These were heavily edited videos and you and a, 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 a colleague of yours from the House uh, feel there was something seriously amiss here. Well, Bruce, uh, as you indicated at the outset, we've got a huge amount of uh, important issues on our agenda here in Congress. Uh, we've got to make sure the government is up and running uh, past mid-December. Uh, we've got to deal with the debt limit. Uh, we've got to get the economy moving. Uh, and yet Republicans now are launching these uh, special committee investigations, this time uh, after Planned Parenthood. And uh, what I referred to in my letter uh, with uh, Congresswoman Louise Slaughter and Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro in writing to the speaker um, was that it was an embarrassing spectacle for the Congress to have this uh, show trial uh, against Planned Parenthood and its leader, Cecile Richards. Um, we have important work to do uh, launching these kangaroo courts uh, against Planned Parenthood and others uh, is the wrong thing to be doing uh, at any time, uh, but we got a lot of this other important work to be doing. But instead of learning the lesson that uh, we shouldn't proceed with those sort of waste of taxpayer dollars, uh, instead, just yesterday, Republicans decided to create another special committee uh, to investigate uh, Planned Parenthood, just like the special committee uh, they established to, inve to investigate Benghazi, which we now know $5 million later uh, was simply an effort to uh, bring down uh, Hillary Clinton's presidential uh, effort. Uh, and that was acknowledged by the lead Republican uh, majority leader, Kevin McCarthy. So we should not be spending taxpayer dollars to yet launch another investigation uh, with no merit. Let's focus on the important issues before us. But I suspect, Congressman, there are some people listening to us now who would say, that maybe they were heavily edited videos and maybe there was a, an agenda at the, at the heart of the, the taping of them and you know maybe the whole thing was a setup but if there was discussion if there was discussion of uh, things that folks would find objectionable and that would sort of cross the line into from research into something more troubling why not have the hearings, but at the same time do the other work that you describe. I mean, doesn't Congress have the bandwidth to do it all? Uh, well, Bruce, uh, there have already been three committees that investigated uh, these allegations uh, into Planned Parenthood, into, as you said, uh, what were heavily doctored tapes. Uh, and the chairman of the Oversight Committee, who's been conducting this, uh, Jason Chavitz, has already acknowledged on national television uh, that they found no violation of federal law. Uh, and so why they would now turn around and want to spend another million plus dollars of taxpayer money um, creating another uh, special committee um, is, is pure politics at a time when we have these other issues. As we know from their own admission, uh, it turns out that the Benghazi uh, effort was not about getting at the truth uh, as to what happened on that awful day because we've already had lots of investigations uh, that have gone into that issue. As it turned out, uh, and as many suspected, but Republicans have now admitted, uh, it was all about using taxpayer dollars to bring down uh, Hillary Clinton's poll numbers. I mean, this was said on national television uh, by the Republican who we expect to be the next Speaker of the House. Uh, so I, I think people really want us to be talking about these issues of the economy, of uh, making sure that at the very least the government doesn't shut down, uh, dealing with these fundamental economic issues uh, and getting our economy uh, in higher gear, uh, not these distracting witch hunts uh, and kangaroo courts, which is what they seem to want to uh, want to do. Were you surprised by the McCarthy comment? I mean, there's always been a division, clearly, on whether the Benghazi hearings were, as stated, to get to the heart of 
uh, what led up to the, the tragic loss of life, the American diplomats killed in the attack on the American compound, or were they uh, an attempt to ding or damage the political prospects of uh, former Secretary of State and future presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. So there's always been that. But to say out loud what Congressman uh, McCarthy did would seem to be unwise. Were you, from that perspective alone, were you surprised? Well, I, I guess I was uh, surprised that he would say on national television um, you know, what we all suspected uh, to be the case about these hearings. And, and again, it's because, Bruce, there had already been multiple investigations of what happened uh, in Benghazi by both House and Senate committees, House Armed Services Committee, House Intelligence Committee, Senate Intelligence Committee, bipartisan efforts that had concluded that there, there, there was no malfeasance, there was no wrongdoing. Look, I'm the, I'm the son of a Foreign Service officer. Um, you know, this was an awful tragedy, what happened to Chris Stevens and the others uh, who were uh, there in, in Libya and in Benghazi. So, of course, we all want to get to the facts. But as Kevin McCarthy uh, admitted, it, it never was getting after the fact, a, facts after a certain point, right? After you had all these multiple hearings where nothing was found, they created the special committee on Benghazi uh, for the purpose of bringing down uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, poll numbers, not to find the truth. They had already, they already found nothing. Uh, and so that's why, you know, what we suspected uh, to be the case turned out to be the reality. And I guess everybody, um, you know, was, was surprised to hear Kevin McCarthy uh, you know, admit that it was this political motive on national te television, because what they're doing, be clear, is using taxpayer dollars. I mean, the people listening to their program are having their taxpayer dollars used for these political purposes. There's a civil war going on on the other side of the aisle. Uh, we'll have, there will be a series of elections, uh, not as soon, it turns out, as we originally thought they might occur. H how deep is it, uh, uh, and, and, and what impact could it have in terms of just getting new people, you know, so Boehner leaves, presumably it's McCarthy taking his place, and then there's a competition uh, for, the, for the positions below as uh, people scramble and attempt to move up. I mean, and what did Democrats do during all this time? It, it, are there decisions for your side in all this? Well, Bruce, you're right. I mean, there's a lot of turbulence uh, within the House Republican uh, caucus. Uh, it's playing out uh, before our eyes. And, you know, I would say that, look, this is just Republican Party politics. Um, the problem is it's really hurting and damaging the country uh, right now because we have so much work to be done. And you have now a competition within the Republican caucus about who will be even less compromising, right? I mean, Speaker Boehner was effectively driven out. I mean, he, he left voluntarily, but he was effectively driven out by the right-wing Tea Party because he was even thinking about working with Democrats uh, to keep the federal government up and running. That was apparently heresy among the Tea Party uh, crowd. So he's now gone, but the problem is it's that Tea Party faction, very extreme faction that is now empowered and emboldened uh, within the Republican caucus. And so the voices of no compromise, don't talk to the Democrats, don't work on a bipartisan basis, are louder than ever uh, in the Republican caucus. And it is, it's hurting the country because we all need to come together uh, to focus on the country's business, focus on the economy, at least do no harm uh, in shutting down uh, the government. But really, we should have a, a higher goal, which is to try to invest in our infrastructure, modernize uh, our, our, our national infrastructure, invest in science and research, invest in education, uh, make sure we grow jobs uh, with higher wages. There are policies that we can uh, implement that would, would help those things. but. So long as you have this Tea Party faction running the show in the Republican caucus, it's trouble for everybody. If you, the News Talk viewer, is wondering what Republican Congresswoman Barbara Comstock of Virginia uh, thinks about the issues that we've been discussing right here with Congressman Chris Van Hollen of Maryland, well, we are wondering as well. And we invited her today to join us. Her staff said, unfortunately, again, that she's not available. We will continue to reach out to her as we have for many, many months now, as we would love to have her on the air and have her share her views on these important, important issues with all of us. Congressman Chris Van Hollen, Democrat of Maryland,
Maryland. He's from the 8th District, a uh, leader on the uh, Budget Committee. Uh, thank you, sir, for your time. A pleasure to talk with you. We'll be talking with you again. Good to be with you. Take care, Chris. We're back with the program note after this.